Hi everyone, Yaku from Tutor Touch here and in this video I will be going over some cool and unique features that come standard with our Node program. I do want to mention that I will be showcasing the two different methods of presenting or broadcasting a lesson. The first one would be with yourself in the picture, so the phone or the camera view. And then the second one would be just of the panel alongside my voice as the Tutor Touch Interactive 4K panels allow you to record them separately. So to point out a couple of things, as I've mentioned that not everybody will be able to see me, with other words to see where my hands are on the panel. So every time I touch the panel, a big black dot or gray dot will appear. Now please don't be scared, this is not a UFO, this is me touching the panel and that will just make things a little bit easier for you to follow where my fingers are on the panel. Then I'm going to quickly point out the menu or the toolbars at the bottom. So starting on the left here you have your standard menu bar or your toolbar. So this will allow you to open save documents, it has your desktop mode, your treasure box and your connection or upload features. Then in the middle going from left to right you have your quick tip menus or your tool tip menus. So going from, from left to right you have your selector, your pens, your eraser, your automatic shapes, infinite space, automatic handwriting and undo and redo and on the far right there you have your page selector. Now I quickly want to point out that if you want to get to the page selector without moving in front of the panel, right in the left corner here there's a little arrow so if you click on that that will actually flip the menu bars around giving you easier access and that will prevent you from obscuring the view. Alright, so first of all I'm going to start off with our menu bars, go over our tooltips and then I'll quickly touch on to our subject matters which sit on the left here. Yeah, this is the subject or the quick drop menu for the subject. So to start off again you have your selector, then you have your tooltips or your pen tooltips that range from a pen or a, a pen to paintbrushes along with your emoji wand and you also have your wuzzy wand that makes for some interesting shapes. Now this panel does have 20 touch along with back of the hand gesture erasing so you can have multiple fingers on the panel writing at the same time and to erase content is as easy as that. Then next in line is your eraser uh, which you can use to erase the full screen. I'll showcase that in a bit. Your infinite space, uh, your infinite space, as well as your handwriting recognition and your um, automatic shape. So the automatic shape and the handwriting I will touch onto in the math part of the software. So to touch onto the infinite space quickly, this panel or the note program essentially has an infinite blank canvas for you to use. So if you've made content or have a bunch of content on the panel which you want to keep however you want to continue on with your lesson, it's as simple as clicking on the hand icon, using the pinch to zoom feature, making the content smaller and moving it out of the way. So let's say you were busy with uh, a topic or writing down some topics, you can then continue on with your list on the panel without having to worry about space. And then once again if you run out of space it's as simple as clicking on the hand icon, making it smaller or moving it out of the way completely. Now don't be scared that you will ever lose any of the content because if you click on the hand icon that will actually bring up the full canvas that you have and then once you click on the little screen there it will take you to the bulk of your content giving you access to all of your work again. Now as I've mentioned that it does have back of the hand gesture erasing, however if you have a lot of content on the panel and you've used the infinite space then it might be a little bit difficult to erase all of that content. So luckily for us click on the eraser and then swipe to the right that will erase the entirety of the blank canvas or the canvas giving you a new brand new slate to start off. Then before I go into our subject matters I quickly want to touch on to our treasure box which sits in the bottom here. I just want to make it red to point it out. So the little hammer and the wrench icon is called our treasure box and this is essentially additional features that come with the panel. So would the green background be too harsh for you? You can make it a, a, a little bit more subtle by making it blue or perhaps you would like to have your standard green board back to have that authentic classroom feel. Perhaps you have a need for a grid line or a sports field or 
perhaps you just want to simply customize it to any image that you might have on your computer you are also able to do that then next in line would be your tools so these are essentially extra things you can do over and atop the note program for instance the whiteboard to give you some extra writing area um, your clocks your calendars your magnifying glasses your masking feature so for instance if you have question and answer time you can write the answers on the board close off the panel and then they have to recall from memory and then you do have a couple of additional features like your spotlight, your timer and your object booth. All right. Then the last one in line is more resources. So as I mentioned previously, you can essentially load anything onto the computer and then access that content through the note program. Next, I'm going to move over to our subject matters once again. The quick drop menu does sit in the left here. And as soon as I click on it, I will go through them from bottom to top in order. So the note one over here, sorry, the, the very bottom one over there, which says note, is the green interface that we have been using. Then you get your chemistry, which is a light blue interface, your physics, which is a dark blue interface, your English, which is a brown interface, and then your math, which is a white interface. So to start from the bottom, I've already touched onto the note, so I'm gonna go into the chemistry part of the software. Now, as you can see, this does change the tooltips at the bottom slightly, giving you access to a couple of different features. Now, the first feature I wanna to touch onto is the periodic elements. So as you see there, if you click on it, it will bring up calcium. To duplicate that element is as simple as clicking a few buttons and then to compare that element with the next one in line which is scandium it's as simple as opening up the periodic table clicking on scandium and now you have a visual representation of the two different periodic elements then next i want to touch onto the treasure box so every time you change the uh, subject with the quick drop menu you do change the discipline tools in the treasure box so as you can see you have a bunch of options available for chemistry however i want to use the test beakers as i quite like playing with them now these are interactable in the sense that you can change the liquid color to whatever you want to and it's also got pinch to zoom features so let's say you want to rotate this slightly or make it bigger or smaller you can do that with the pinch to zoom feature and lastly i'm going to change this one to blue quickly liquid color blue and then put a cap on now this is very important because once the cap is on that liquid won't fall out and you can do whatever you want to with these beakers without having to worry about a mess now once you rotate that back up take the cap off and as i've mentioned you do have pinch to zoom so you can make it bigger or smaller or you can rotate this beaker and then simply pour the content out and that will fill up the next beaker, overflow, and then fill up the bottom one. Now, this is my explanation on how to mix colors. So blue plus yellow equals green. All right, moving on from there, the next one in line is physics, which is essentially a program that allows you to create grid lines and show off some resistant forces. Now, I'm by no means an electrician, but to quickly showcase this part of the software, I'm gonna quickly assemble a grid line and then you can essentially activate it and showcase how it will work. So once all your wires are connected, it's as simple as turning on the switch and then turning on the light bulb to showcase how that would have worked or the circuit would work. Then next in line is English, which is unfortunately just a four line writing grid, but we have been told that these stylists are the perfect thickness for the younger ones to start learning how to write. And then you can pair this with your four line writing grid in order to teach them how to write properly. Moving on from there, I'm gonna quickly go over to the last one, which is maths. Now maths changes the background again to white. It also gets some additional features. And as you can see at the bottom, it does turn the, the tooltips uh, or change the tooltips slightly again. So first of all, you do have your automatic shapes that you can add your radii and your diameter. Same with your triangles and then your squares and all of the other shapes. Next, you do have your 3D shapes, which are completely interactable in the sense that you can move them around, twist them. You can also change the line color as well as the fill color to make that shape 
just a little bit more visual. In the treasure box over here, you do have your recognized formula, your draw function, your compass, your calculators, and your other tools for maths as well. Now, let's say you are busy with a math problem and you want to work out the angle of a branch on a tree and you have made a mess like I have. It's a simple once again moving the content out of the way or making it smaller and moving it out of the way and then from here you can combine that with our website or search function which sits over here. So as soon as you click there this will take you directly to the internet whichever search uh, browser you want to use. I like Google so I'm going to just use Google and then I'm going to Google a tree. Now from here this is dependent on your Wi-Fi however as soon as the search is done you can simply cut an image of a tree out of the YouTube or out of Google implement it into your lesson and then you can manipulate it further from here would it be cropping using the Photoshop feature duplicating it or anything like that. I, however, want to combine this with our recognized um, ha automatic handwriting recognition. So if I then had to go write that this is indeed a tree, it will turn it into block letters for me, explaining to everybody that that is indeed a tree. Now, the last feature I want to touch on to is the fact that Note does run in desktop mode. So on the uh, left corner here, you can see a little desktop icon. As soon as you press that, that will take your Note program into the background and you have access to the computer again. So let's say that little uh, explanation of the tree did not make sense. You can then go into, for instance, YouTube and then YouTube a bunch of math tricks to try and explain the problem further. Now, Node does allow you to annotate over and atop everything while it's running in the background. So for instance, you can then make annotations on the screen to point out that this is really cool. And then from there, you can either save this as an image and send it off to your students, or simply press on the mouse icon to take, your, to take you back to the computer, allowing you access to your content. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please follow, like, and share. My name is Yaku from Touch. Thank you.